Labs today we're reviewing this humanoid UFO footage. We captured this anomaly with three different cameras at our very last event for LA UFO channel. One was the telescope, uh, two others were camcorders. It was captured here at Sequoia Park in Monterey Park, California. That is a city near Los Angeles. We always host our events in Los Angeles. As you can see here, there are people witnessing UFOs from an uh, event we had in the past at Sequoia Park. That's one thing to keep in mind, guys. Remember, these UFOs are seen by dozens of eyewitnesses. This is not just UFO footage. These are events with people who are actually there watching it with us and seeing UFOs for the first time. And here, my friends, is the UFO footage you guys have been waiting for. We're going to start off with Yasmin's footage. doesn't look like much right now, but just give it a second till she zooms in on it and the image clears up and you will see what we're talking about. So here she zooms in. And then the head will clear up. There we go. You guys see it now? You see the separation of the head, the arm sticking out, the leg, and it looks like it's staring up. You guys, I don't know, I don't know, guys. You guys tell me in the comment. Does it look like a humanoid or what does it look like to you guys? Here's Jonathan's footage. Same thing. Doesn't look like much now when it's zoomed out, but once he zooms in, here we go. He'll start zooming in now, just like Jasmine did. And then you get the separation of the head. Now you see it. You guys see that? You got the separation of the head, the torso the arm sticking out and the leg. Now the shocking thing you guys gotta understand about this humanoid footage is we captured humanoids like uh, humanoids before but they did not look like this. The way this one is so perfectly in depth and 3D you can see here in the footage of all three of them at the same time how you can see the, the separation of every part of the body it's just such 3D structure. And you can see right there Jaws' footage was captured at 60 zoom, Jonathan's was captured at 80 zoom and Hans's was captured at 220 zoom. Hans captured his with a telescope connected to an SLR uh, Sony camera at 24 megapixels. That's why it looks so clear. Uh, one big thing you see is the structure stood up the whole time, which is only possible if it was sustaining itself. Here is some footage we captured on January 25th. This was uh, the second humanoid we ever caught. Doesn't look like much now, but when we looked at the stills, that's when it got into the humanoid kind of structure. So I'll show you guys right now, right after the video. Here you go. Here's a still of it. You see a head, a shape of an arm kind of popping up, and a Spock sign. That's not it. Here's some other pictures, uh, stills of that same one you guys just saw. The one on the in the right, or the one on the left is the one you guys just saw. The one on the right is another one we captured at Sequoia. But you see the humanoid structure. All right, back to the one we guys we were talking about. Uh, this thing is baffling, guys. So again, uh, tell me in the comments what you guys think it is. I I need some ideas because. It looks like a humanoid at some points, then it starts rotating, it looks like some other crazy thing that makes no sense at all. And there's this little weird dot that keeps sticking out of the arm, you guys see that? On the top left green one, there's a little orb that keeps popping out of the arm and going away. What is that? Is that an arm like another leg? Right there, You can. it looks like, an, a, like a humanoid. Perfect leg, and then an arm lined up, and then you see the head structure of it. But then when it turns around, it looks like something else. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think this thing is, because it's very odd for me. There's still crazier parts of the video, which I'm going to show you. At one portion, it looks like it has a visor. You'll see that towards the end of the video. But it rotates, and it looks like the helmet literally has a visor, like if it is an astronaut in a suit. Uh, it's a lot towards the end of the video, so it'll happen a little later. Here's another weird thing that happened to it. There was this orb that it kept holding in its hand, and it, it's weird because it disappears. Now, here's the crazy part about it for me. Uh, two weeks before capturing this, uh, I had an experience. Uh, somebody was trying some, uh, we were trying channeling, we were trying to contact them, and somebody had an experience, and during their experience, it involved an orb in their hands. An orb was placed in their hand that was pulsating, and then it disappeared. Just like the orb that this being had in its hand, and then it's disappearing. As you see now when it's rotating, there's no more orb. Remember from the still before, there was the orb there, and now it's gone, which is very odd for it. Now we're going to keep going closer towards the end. Let's see, it got blurry right there, and now it's rotating. This is all the telescope footage, by the way. It's the clearest footage of it that we have. You can see there's like a little separation in the arm, where the arm meets, and there's also separation at the elbow, kind of just like a suit. And then there's a separation at the hand. You can see as it's rotating, when the when it gets really focused on the telescope, you'll see the separations on the hand, also on the leg and the feet. Look at the way the legs go down. They go down, then it has a portion of it that looks like actual feet. You guys see that? Like They indent out as if it is an astronaut with feet on it. 
It looks like it's wearing something behind its back right now as you see the angle of it from the side. And there's a little portion that's like separating it, the thing that's behind it. Oh, now it's rotating again, another full one, the arm is pointed forward. And there you go, you guys remember the orb? Some stills of it with the orb. So you saw when it rotated, there wasn't an orb on there. And then that orb comes back. See in this one, there's no orb. And that's the same angle that it was when I was showing it basically. Now here's the crazy part I told you guys about. You guys see the concave space at the helmet? It's darkened. There's a dark space there, kind of like a helmet visor. Now that's, I don't know what else to show you guys to convince you that it's a humanoid, but that is insane, and I loved it. This last humanoid I am showing you guys, it appears to be pressing something on his chest. If you look at his chest, it lights up and disappears, and then these two orbs keep appearing and reappearing as them to come in and out of our dimension, like interdimensional travel. This is one of my favorite humanoid UFOs that was captured by my friend Jim Martin. I suggest you go check out his channel, link will be in the description. Uh, it's one of the craziest humanoids we've seen. It's actually the first humanoid I ever heard from anybody in our group. When you look at it closely, you get to see that it has a head, two eyes, and then you see the torso and the legs, and of course the orbs that appear. So go check that link in the description. Jim did a great job capturing it.